No relic. No, I, I, I really couldn't. Um, no. <laughs> I don't think that is a thing that we would do at all. But, on that note, and with these delightful beans, I am Storm of Iron once again, and this is more Skyrim. And hello, Relic. Hello, Norman. And anybody else who has kind of meandered on in and wandered on over. What's going on on Monday number two? Or Tuesday. Which I think there's a working title thing going on there. Um, but what's happening? What's shaking? It's going down. How is everything? It has been a long day. And I am glad that I am now here. And I am not at work. And that's about it. I think that was watermelon. Ooh, there's some cinnamon. I like the cinnamon, though. Um... What was he doing? And why does that look like a campfire down there? Probably because it is. That's a thing. So... Let me see. I don't even know where I am. There's a mining establishment over there. There's all kinds of stuff around me that I've not yet discovered. Hopefully at four... A four meat and cheese hot pocket is shaking my way soon. Hot Pockets are good. And there was a news article, I think, a, a while ago about Hot Pockets being... Like, there was a recall on certain Hot Pockets or something like that. Which I think is weird. Um, I mean, there's probably a perfectly logical explanation for the fact that there was a recall on some Hot Pockets, but... I don't know. Kind of bizarre. Uh, let's get some stuff from Scritch. Woodcutter's axe, a poacher's axe, and a spider control rod. We're taking that anyways. We, we, are, we are taking that anyways. And I forget if I could actually smelt down the Dwemer metal. I can... Solid Dwemer metal makes five metal ingots. We will make a bunch of that stuff. And then we will go put it in our stash of things. Um, at some point in time, we will do some, some various bookkeeping and, and upkeep and whatnot and actually try to level up more... Did they pass it? Oh, there it is. Yep. Of course I passed it. Put that all in there. And then how much... Okay, so we're carrying 375 pounds of stuff. Um. Okay, that's like five pounds of salmon right there. Why are we carrying five pounds of salmon? I don't know. It's just kind of a thing that happens. Wait a minute. Are we still carrying around, like, rooms? I don't know. I mean, the, we, we, have, we have picked up and pilfered so many different things. Great Body Live! All you need is salmon. Bob's Burgers! Red Nick Chan! What's going on, fellas? Salmon bone. <laughs> all the salmon. We want just all of the sa salmon born. We're the we are the salmon born. Yes. Um we are the salmon born. We've been somehow mystically chosen to carry out some manner of put food in here. Ooh, we can put food in here. Nice. Hope everybody's Tuesday has been treating them well. Um Bob's Burgers movie come out. It has? I didn't even know that they were making a movie. Um, okay. 
so let's deposit the food in here. Mostly because we've been carrying around a lot of food. Nika Fernandez, I am good. How are you? Uh, we're getting rid of some salmon. And I'm going to get rid of everything but one sweet roll. Put some red in there. And you know what? We're going to we're going to drink the ale just because. Uh, I'm new here, but good to see everyone. Great body live. I uh, certainly appreciate you coming by and hanging out. Um, you're good too, Nika Fernandez. That is awesome. So here's the thing. The allo alocasia fruit. Regenerate stamina discovered from alocasia fruit. Okay. Um, oh, wait, you know what I'm going to do? Hold on, watch this, watch this. Where is the... Giant's toe. I want to take one giant's toe. <laughs> um, Alright. Oh, it's coming out soon. Okay, very cool. Alright, so that's not food. It is a giant's toe. Everything about the giant's toe creeps me out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put it right here. Perfect. Stump side facing us. So we've got a giant's toe and the little receptacle doodad facing us. So, I mean, why not, right? <laughs> um, Necklace of minor haggling. Okay, disenchant that. Robes of Illusion. Where did my audio go? I don't know where my audio read. The Viking war horn has been sounded. Um... Oh, you know what? It actually helps. There we go. It actually helps if I, I tune my audio um, to something I can hear that my soundbar will actually pick up. But that also works. Go me. <laughs> like I said, it's been a really long day. An exceptionally long day. Um, but, you know, it is a day... Filled with jelly beans. Well, I mean, it's an afternoon filled with jelly beans. Because it can be. Also, I had a really good, uh, I had a chicken Caesar wrap. Is it just me? I had chicken Caesar wrap. Or is it getting saner and saner these days? And with that, handful of beans down the pipe, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, bubble gum. It tastes bubble gum. I like bubble gum. The bubble gum beans are actually really nice. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's silverware. Look at that right there. That's some really fancy silverware. All right, we're down to 353. Certainly has been a particularly long day. Today has been dragging. Yes, it has, Relic. Oh, it most assuredly has. All this stuff. I don't know. But Dark Bow. Not as good. The Dark Dagger. Also not as good. A dark mace. Okay, Still not as good. Ha 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 ha. I awaited. I awaited. You will ride eternal. You shall ride shiny eternal. And shiny and crow. The great, wondrous, immortal Joe, who is only trying to do right by his people. And Furiosa had to go in and, and throw a monkey wrench into the plans right there. 
and it was only exacerbated by Max. Not really. Immortan Joe was a dictator, and he ruled with an iron fist. Um, creatures and people up to level 4 will attack anything nearby for 60 seconds. Oh, that's right. Okay. Nerve Shatter. This thing is cool. This thing looks cool. So this is why we have so much excessive extra weight. We've got a lot of weird stuff. And I kind of don't know where we're going to put it all. Nerve Shatter. Where are we going to put Nerve Shatter? Shield of Ysgrimor. Uthrad. Dragon Bane. Ebony Blade. Rueful Axe. Oriel's Bow. Oriel's Shield. Arkan Sword. Dawnguard Rune Shield. Rune Axe. Alright. Let's put some stuff over here. Namely... Nerve Shatter. So, ooh, look at this thing. This thing's cool. All right, so we'll put that up there. And I need... I need something to just... St see, you know, unfortunately, there's no, like, random chest down here. Um, yes, I am going to appear on the Skyrim edition of Hoarders. They're going to come in and they're going to tell me why I need to clean out so many different things. And I actually need to let go of the past. I'm going to disagree with them because I most assuredly do not want to let go of the past. I just have so much crap uh, that I really, really don't want to get rid of. And I just want to collect everything. Oh, hey. All right. You know, um, wait a minute. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put stuff in the safe. That's what we're going to do. So, do we have... Oh, wait. We do have... Do we? So that was fur armor, fur helmet. And we've got... Helmet and... No, they used all sorts of... No. Okay, you know what? We're just going to store that stuff in there anyways. Because I don't know if it's going to come in handy somewhere down the line. <laughs> um. Okay, so we've got more of that stuff. Yeah. I collect so much crap, and I just hang on to it, and I hang on to it, and I hang on to it, and it's like, no, realistically, I should go and sell all this stuff, but here's the thing. I've already got 71,000 gold. I don't really need to sell anything else. All right, we're down to 286. Um, Staff of Charming, get rid of that. Spider Control Rod, get rid of that. 270. We're down to 270. And something tells me... It's going to be a lot of potions. You can use said item on a certain quest for X bonuses. How far are we into this? We have managed to uh, complete the Dark Brotherhood quest chain. We have completed the Thieves Guild quest chain. We've done some miscellaneous crap. Um, there isn't much we've seen all the way through until the end. Uh, because we have some significant ADHD when it comes to going places and doing things. But somehow or another, we've managed to hit level 37. I don't know how, but we have FUBAR! What is going on? You can use said item on a certain quest for X bonuses. Um, which said item was bonuses X times E plurimus unum? Uranium, prodigium, tomfoolery? And stuff. <laughs> um, I don't even know what else we would... So, okay. So, <laughs> so that's the potions. Justification for keeping every... Oh, uh, episode... Yes, exactly. 
Relic, Relic nails it right on the head. It's like, I could, in fact, use this item somewhere down the line, so I'm going to keep it in my greasy little Khajiit paws. Because I am actually a Khajiit. Um, true story, I have a tail. I have a tail to tell. So these are 0.4. These are 0.4 a piece, so that's... That's a lot of weight. I am carrying a significant amount of weight in simply a 15. Don't I have more lock picks? Where do my lock picks go? I'm apparently going to need to go buy some more lock picks because I just can't have 15 of them. Um, perhaps I sold some of them somehow. So these weigh three pounds a piece. These are a half a pound a piece. So that's two pounds worth of stones of Berenzia. Uh, soul gem fragments I can probably sell. A spoon that's a half a that's a half a pound spoon. Why is it a half a pound spoon? I don't get it. Also, these guys look really comfortable here in their chair. I'm going to leave them there. Uh, I also have another weapon rack that I can use. So that's also acceptable. Also, coconut is really good. I like coconut. Also, I really want to get rid of this horse. And I don't know why it keeps showing up. Because it gets in the way of combat. Oh, coconut's good. I like coconut. May 27th. Okay, so a couple more months. A couple more months. That's pretty cool, though. I love that show. That's such a great show. All right. Also, we were apparently supposed to go meet Score. Three more days. Yep. Three more days until Bob's Burgers has a birthday. So there is that. Uh, the fact that I have better memories of Skyrim growing up than middle school... Says a lot about my social life. It also says a lot about Skyrim. You were at the wedding of the Empress cousin in solitude. Why can't I hear anything? Gods, that must have been horrible. There we go. It also helps if I turn um, the volume up on my soundbar, which I am just like. I, well, I mean, it's not as bad as yesterday where I had the completely wrong game. Real name is Austin. Well, hello, Austin. Good day. For my husband, Nazim. Good day. Check the Jarl's backside. Dude, that that's Nazim right there. These days. Your husband, Nazim, is right there. He's watching you going and slam talking him like that, which is just. Ugh. Let me know if you see anything you like. Hello, Belathor. Uh, get to the Cloud District often. Everything no, I don't want to sale, be in the Cloud friend. District. Everything. Everything's sister, for sale. I'd sell her in a second. <laughs> if I had a sister, oh, I'd sell her in a second. A Which leads to some very unique and interesting um, questions that we may have. Um, simply because, I don't know, man. That that's a little a little on the questionable side, right there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're the, the fact that you're offering up your sister into basically slight Ooh, ebony ingots. Uh those are expensive. Five lock picks. That's it. Moonstone ore. That. Iron ore. That. Um You know, we're really not up to ebony just yet. But we do have uh, soul gem fragments that will sell for basically nothing. Flawed Varla stone that's empty. You know, we're going to sell that. 
Flawed Varla Stone Common. These things are so weird. 31. We have 31. Um, Money over everything? I don't know. I mean, with, with Bellathor, yes. Bellathor actually dispatched a hit squad on us because we took some cheese from his establishment. Uh, at least he would take a single second to think about it. <laughs> Just long enough to think of his asking price. <laughs> yes. Okay, now that we're here, we will sell... You know what? No, we're not going to sell the fork. We're not going to sell the fork. We're not going to sell the spoon. We're going to keep those. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> so he'd sell his sister, and then he would buy one of my relatives... Bellathor kind of creeps me out just a little bit. Know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? All right. Also, to all of those newcomers in the channel, this is the cheese home, i.e. the breeze home. Um, did you get Endon's cheese? Oh, we got um a lot of cheese. We get so much cheese. Scritch. All right, watch this. <laughs> All right. Vlad! Vlad, dude, coming in one whole year, 12 months subscription, my dude. That is amazing. Uh, so he would trade you straight up for J Stu, I imagine. No, J Stu is experiencing a 50% off sale. Mostly because he's 50% off of, like, a regular person. He's kind of diminutive in size. Um, <laughs> he's not that short. He's not that short. But, Vlad, what's happening, man? How is everything? I hope you are doing awesome today. Um, Namory Wolf, hello. How are you? What's good? What's shaking? What's new? How's things? Um, we are here in the Breeze home. And I say Breeze as in Brie Cheese. As I'm shoveling jelly belly jelly beans into my face. Yes, there is the dancing leprechaun J. Stew, who really hated the fact that I did that. Why is there a room full of cheese? That is a very, very, very valid question that I don't legitimately have an answer to. Um, it's just one day we were walking along our, our merry Khajiit here, you can't really tell that he's a Khajiit, so what we will do is we will remove his helmet so you can see his majestic kitty catty mohawk. Uh, it's in Endon's house in Markarth. I haven't really been to Markarth much. I did the one thing in, one or two things in Markarth. Um, and exactly, why not have a room full of cheese? So our Khajiit has a little bit of a problem with kleptomania and it manifests itself in the need to steal cheese it's all about the cheese um life is better when there's cheddar vlad <laughs> i hope you're doing awesome my dude and one whole year one entire year 12 months we hit the affiliate anniversary. You get the cheese, even better. That's great. That's so great. We hit the affiliate anniversary in December. Skull! Yes, indeed, my friend. Um, so December was our one-year affiliate. And then, um, yeah, Puma. Wait, was Puma one year already? I can't remember. But Relic, I think you did... Uh, there's been a couple of people who have eked out. Yep, Relic is a 12-month a member. Cheese! Yes, we actually have that. That is somewhere. Um, that is, in fact... It is somewhere. There is a Shea Gorath. Um, if you scroll down, or I think it's the thing on the side. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. So, yeah, we are, we are one year in. And it is going awesome. And we have had such a wonderful growth of the, 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 the community that we've had here. And we've made some fantastic, fantastic connections along the way. But 
It's been a blast. It has been an absolute blast. Ooh, bubblegum. Oh, I love the bubblegum jelly bellies. They're so good. So good. Cookie Monster did it all for the cookie. Limp Biscuit did it all for their possibly noble cause, and McMittens did it all for the cheese. We got one year for Puma coming up, too. I don't know, for Waylon. Waylon, um... Waylon's one year was right after me. Honestly thought you were full... Um, you were full-time when I first saw you yesterday. Um, Storm, do you want to see my Skyrim video? Gurney Hullock. What kind of Skyrim video you got? The only thing is, there are no... Uh, the links don't work in the stream. So it's got to be everything that's shared to the Discord server. That's the only thing. Uh, let us go purchase. Oh, yeah, see, look at this. We're outside now, and you can you can check out the glorious uh, perky ear piercings for um, our weird perky... Like, we've got weird perky ears on this Khajiit. This is, in fact, Skyrim. You are correct. Um, we are in Whiterun. This is one of the first cities, well, like, major establishments that you would, uh, you would actually run into. There is my house Carl Lydia, who we have adorned in rather awesome um, carved Nordic armor and a Daedric helmet. And for some reason, she's holding a dwarven shield, and I don't know why. So, but the thing is, we've got this weird, funky, like, uh, like Fu Manchu thing going on over, like, right here. And it's just kind of, it's very strange. It's very, very bizarre. What are you looking at? What are you looking I at? Ain't done nothing. You ain't done nothing? Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me? I don't I don't know. I I work with I don't know. Hey. Buddy. Whoop. Did I bump into somebody? That oh, my bad. But get away from me, creepy kid. Now the kid was getting all up in my my business. What is going? I got some good pieces out here. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Weird things are afoot. Blades, helmets, or a tail, because we are a Khajiit and we actually legitimately have Fu Miao Chu, complete with Meowderhawk. So I don't play Skyrim, but my husband does. And when I described your room full of cheese to him, he said it's probably Skyrim. Is this common in Skyrim? Uh, sent a link to the main chat. Okay, awesome. I will definitely have to check that out. Um, see, the thing is, with Skyrim, anything that's not nailed down can be stolen. Holy crap. They've already started to get ebony ingots in. I don't want to take those just yet. Um, however, we're going to need to get more lockpicks. Because... All right, we're significantly running low on lockpicks. That is not a good thing. We've got 18 lockpicks. That is that is bad. I don't know how um, that ended up happening. New Skyrim video. Okay, I will definitely check that out. Still wondering why they added kids in Skyrim. Oblivion was good enough without them. Um, Teo Aaron. I don't know why they added, um, wait, was that part of, I think it was, okay, I think it was part of the Hearthstone update, when you could actually build a house, but I don't know if you could actually, could you get married prior to building a house? I don't think so. To check inside the shop if you need anything. All right, so what we're going to do... Got a lot of respect for the restoration school. Um, they break. Today I sacrificed Lydia in a mission that I had. Oh no! Did you go to Boethia and you you stabbed her? Alright, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna wait till nighttime. Because we have to go meet a dude at night. I don't like the kids because the kids are creepy, and even when you adopt the kids, they're still creepy. 
Lydia is super, super, super passive aggressive. Like, Lydia is hardcore passive aggressive. And I don't know why. Alright, what's this? The guard barracks is over here. Yes. So, if you don't use... Like, they legitimately break on you. So... Where do we have to... I forget. Um... Oh, it was... Oh, oh, you know what? I'm in the wrong spot. I'm in the wrong spot. Have you played Enderal? I have not, actually. Alright, see, I was totally... Totally in the wrong spot. Completely in the wrong spot. Um... Yes, I do. My crotch goblins are enough. A video game world without them would be fantastic. <laughs> yes. Yes. But when you adopt the kids in this game... Oh, hello. Skior. I'm ready no for test. whatever test is next. This is a gift. Come inside. Okay. What do we got? Okay, enter the underforge. So there's an overforge, which would... No, no. There's an underforge, which would indicate a necessity for an un, over over under... Are we betting? I'm not sure. Things happen. Uh, it messed up. Long time Can't hard kill hard the hard cats hard. or the kids. Hey-oh! Like that's a werewolf. Oh, that's Ayla. Alright. Okay. Alright. Alright. That's... That's good. Okay. Um, you don't kill the kitties? Wait a minute, is there kitties in this? I don't think there's kitties in this. When was there kitties? And, 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 and don't make me go full bubbles. You prepared to join your spirit with the beast world, friend? Alright. Uh, why would you want to kill either? Where are the cats? There are no cats in this. There's cats in Valhalla. What if I don't want to be a werewolf? Uh, Very well. I am ready. So, here's the thing. Uh, Fable is going to be multiplayer. Look at you. They are considered gods in the Elder Scrolls lore. Really? I had no idea. Alright, so... Participate in the blood ritual. We didn't exactly agree to it. See, these guys are the companions. Yes, Great Body Live. They are making a new fable. But um, one of the things that's unfortunate is I'm on a PlayStation. Relic is also on a PlayStation. We both need to consider being um, open-minded and flexible enough to invest in obtaining an Xbox. Because there is so many different titles that are coming to the Xbox right now. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. All right. So we'll do this. Mountain Lion! What is going on? Relic is on an Xbox waiting list? Uh. All right, so what are we doing now? I mean, I guess we're just kind of... Can we jump? No, we can't jump out there. Uh, talk to the companion's leaders for work. Oh, bother. Khajiit is uh, a cat-like human. Yes. Um, also, we're not like a cat-like human right now. We are straight up a werewolf. So... Everything is strange about this. Out. Everything about this is weird. <laughs> um. Okay. Are you Yours was not an easy transformation, but you're still alive. So congratulations. All right. We even have a celebration planned. 
There's a pack okay. of werewolf hunters. So you're a cat nearby. who's a wolf a now. Gone. Yes, a meow wolf. Norman said it best. A werecat. Well, a.k.a. cat dog. McMitten's the werecat. <laughs> Uh, your companion replaces your follower. Let's ask the obvious question. Am I a you werewolf now? Blood, the wolf in you. You'll need to build up your strength before you can call on it again. Just be careful. Okay. Some cowards in this land can't stand the sight of glory before them. Um... The silver hand has perhaps where are we going? McMitten's the werekitten. Brilliant. Sure. Ha. Huh. You're sounding like the old man. I I shouldn't say that. That was awesome. I Rambada, what's going on, man? How are you doing? Him, but he's wrong on this. What's it's new? How is everything and how are you feeling for first and foremost, my friend? If he's worried about some mead swilling afterlife and Sovngarde. He's free to pursue it. I'll take So, the here's the interesting thing. Right here. Um, she's talking about the leader of the companions. The companions are like the de facto mercenary group of Skyrim. And their leader is a Nord. And all of the Nords want to go to Sovereign Guard, which is kind of like um, the Norse mythology's Valhalla. But the leader of the companions can't enter Sovereign Guard if they have werewolf blood in them because they go to... Um, scenes uh, hunting grounds. So when they die, they don't go to Sovereign Guard, they go to this other place. And because he's a Nord, it means more to him to go to Sovereign Guard than it actually does to go to uh, Hercene's hunting ground, to be a like basically a wolf forever. I wish I could stream Fable, but only the first is on PC. Really, I haven't I haven't played a single Fable game, like at all. Ever. Let's make you were born in all right. Pack. Doing all right. I Feeling way you. better in the last few days. I think I wasn't. Uh, you weren't crowned. <laughs> you gave us more trouble than Farkas I don't see myself paying for anything other than Game Pass, though. Aside from Fable. You have the blood Oops. of the wolf in you. Okay. You'll need to build up your strength before. Um. Let us re-equip that. Again. Okay. So there's nothing here. Where are we? The blood calls, brother. I'll take my lead. So I I, I kind of think um, is there a wolf species in Skyrim or just werewolves? So here's the thing: with the anniversary upgrade, we actually got um, skeletal dogs. We have zombie wolves. We have regular wolves. We've got foxes, bears. Um, there's various birds flying around. There is all kinds of stuff in this game for basic flora and fauna. And we can pick all kinds of flowers and... things and craft potions. It's actually pretty cool. Okay, so we're at Gallows Rock. And... Alright, so we'll take some of that thistle. One of the things about this place here is it is part of the Silverhand faction. So, these dudes in here are basically werewolf hunters, which is why they're called the Silverhand. And most of their gear and equipment is all, like, silver-coated. Uh, a lot of puppies added. <laughs> there is all sorts of stuff that wishes to murder us. Apothecary's satchel. So, there we go. Silver sword. Silver sword. We'll start taking some of this stuff. These guys usually don't have the best of armor. But... Killed somebody... Oh, they're right there. One single arrow to the head. Silver greatsword. So, yeah, these guys are all your basic 
werewolf hunters when it comes to Skyrim. So the silver hand, and as you can see right there, werewolf heads on a pike. Mostly it was luck. I am a terrible shot. <laughs> and unlike... Unlike Fallout, another wonderful Bethesda game, we don't actually have the benefit of the VATS system to be able to, like, stop and, um, like, aim for us. So... Cheese! Cheese? Don't mind if I do. Oh, wow. 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 Hi, monkey bum. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> okay. We're good. We're we're good. So it occurs to me. It occurs to me. I should probably have like a shot glass filled up. <laughs> I should probably have like a shot glass filled up. Werewolves are good for the Dawn Guard to have on their side. True. You're good, Frozen. I am good. Today, I am quite well. Thank you very much. Oh. Oh. We may have, um... Yes. All right, um... We may have targets over there, but you know what? You know what's more important? Ah, don't push me. Who pushed me? Somebody pushed me. We may have targets right here. But the more important thing is, we have cheese that was hidden right over there. And the cheese is more important than anything else in this game. <laughs> yeah, Monkey Bum actually picked this up because this game is so worth it. There, There is so much to this game. So much to this game. It is absolutely phenomenal. And they have added so much additional content to this game. Cheese Bump! Yeah, the, this game has so much added content. And it's fantastic. And more than just the content of the game, there is an active mod community for this game. And people just keep adding stuff and adding stuff and adding stuff. Graphical improvements, you can get, you know, various... Um... What's coming? Oh, that's a dead werewolf. Okay. Um, make some potions. But yeah, this game actually allows for... Um... <laughs> you want to ask why there was a room full of cheese. So here's the creepy thing. Here's a werewolf. This werewolf is obviously dead. Some can't separate the animals. You've replayed this game for like seven years? Yes. It has this much replayability. So, there's a dead werewolf in here, right? There are torture tools right here. We'll take those because they're not nailed down. Here's the thing. The werewolf, when we go to loot him, contains human flesh, a wolf pelt, and ragged trousers. Well, that's the thing. Um... <laughs> But we're about to loot wolf pelts, human flesh, and ragged trousers from a dead werewolf. So do with that information what you will, because it's kind of weird. I am going to take everything because, like we have established, I am a huge pack rat. I am a horribly awful person when it comes to just taking stuff. All right, so that's that door. I think this one is... Okay, that one's barred. Yeah, exactly. 
absolutely creepy. 100% legitimate, grade A, creepy, creepy. So, let us continue down through the doorway, shall we? Um, before I take a little sip of my cherry vanilla Coca-Cola. So werewolves are just like hairy hulks. Yes, they have ragged trousers. Um, unfortunately, the trousers were not purple. That's the only unfortunate. Some mushrooms just randomly growing down there. Yeah, there's a lot of weird, creepy no stuff about this game. Oh. Ow! Damn it. Keep her tail. Um, leg of roast goat. Perhaps some seared slaughter fish, if you will, and some bread. Uh, we'll leave that right there. Do not wish to take it. Just going to sneak around a little bit more. Oop, 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 oop. Right, right. Oh, we missed? How come we missed? See, like I said, I'm not really that great of a shot. I'm... I'm kind of a horrible shot. The only thing that I actually excel at is putting arrows down range in large quantities simply because I can draw the bow faster. That's about it. Take that. Uh, hawk feathers, arrow. This is the quintessential Skyrim horn helmet. Teo Aaron, thank you so much for the follow. I really appreciate that. Um, let's see. Totally taking that. Uh, taking some gold right off the table, along with a clove of garlic, because why not? All right, there's nothing there I want. Uh, some ruined books, a hunting bow. Okay. So here's another dead werewolf who has human flesh and a wolf pelt. We'll take that. Now... Ogremar! What's going on? All right. Uh, anything else we want off of this? Nothing really good. Dillberger! Yeah, how are you been, man? What's new? How is everything? Nothing we can do for we are playing some Skyrim, and we are having an absolute blast playing some Skyrim. Uh, we've been goofing off lately. Just... Oop. Oh, that's cheese. We gotta get the cheese first. Take all of the cheese. Uh, we will ignore the combat for the time being. Sure, there's a guy down there who wants to kill us, but you know what? The wheel of cheese is far more important than our own morality. No, excuse me, mortality. Uh, got the SpongeBob season pass, and the final stats for the Sandy Beach car are pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. Busy. We had the kid on the 12th. Oh, you did, dude. Congratulations to you, boy or girl. What's the name? Because that is exciting. That is so exciting, and I am so happy for you, man. You must be over the moon. Oh, man. That is... Guys, Dillberger just had a new little one. And I know we were talking about the orphans <laughs> in Skyrim being kind of irritating, but you know what? This is completely different, and this is awesome. This is awesome. Nerds Retreat, how are you? Um, Dillberger, dude, that is so fantastic. Um, I am so happy. Girl and Octavia, she's starting to have the ginger hair. Dude, oh man. That is, that is so awesome. That is a great name. Ah, oh, man, how do you feel? How's your, how's your girl? How is, how is everybody doing? <laughs> Ginger hair for the win. <laughs> Relic. Relic is um Relic is a hardcore uh ginger dwarven um <laughs> rocker of awesomeness. Gingers unite, monkey bum is also another ginger head warrior. Um oh man, you guys. That is so cool. Oh hello. You can we can we talk? Um Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> All of the juniors. I'm happy but tired, and everyone is good. Just a learning process and a lot less sleep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Um, so, my, my youngest brother has... She's eight months now. Eight months. And <laughs> they just got out of... Okay, you're going to attack me. Oops. I didn't think you were going to attack me because I let you go. So, my my brother has a eight-month-old, and they were actually just in the Boston Children's Hospital over the weekend. Um, and they're heading home tonight uh, because the kid had a fever, couldn't keep down fluids, um, and it was, I think like a urinary tract infection and it just everything went just crazy and the the baby wasn't sleeping they weren't sleeping and it was just it was a mess but they're coming home um and things are way better than what they started as so man ah orcish bow Lord, how much are we carrying we're not carrying like nearly enough stuff but um yeah, you, you want to talk about not too much sleep. For the past week, they have not slept, like, at all. But now, things are getting better. And, yeah, it's it's a, it's a trip. Like, um, basically all of Sunday, I was spending with my nephew. So, my nephew is five. And he likes hanging out, and he likes watching me play um, No Man's Sky. So No Man's Sky, he just, he's thrilled to watch me play the game. And it's kind of fun because he'll just, he'll hang out, he'll sit there, he'll watch me play the game, and we'll just kick back and have a good time. I managed to play Skyrim a lot before she was born and made it pretty far into it. Yeah. Um, there is so much to this game. And now, uh, with the anniversary update that came out on the 22nd, I work daycare, ages infants to three years old, seen it all, kids can be tough, yeah. Past couple days, she has been cluster feeding at night, it's been rough being up every hour. Yeah, they wake up, and then they go back to sleep. And then they wake up, and then they go back to sleep. And it's like, holy moly. <laughs> but dude... I am I am so happy for you, man. That is that is so great. I'll take the wheat. I'm gonna leave the apple though. Daycare's gotta be wild. Daycare's gotta be so wild. Um I remember the tech school that I went to actually had um a daycare. And it was, what the hell was the classes called? It was like childhood, like early childhood development or something like that. Um, it's been fun so far. We'll be happy to get back to streaming when I can. Dillberger, dude, take all the time in the world. Because it's, it, yeah, dude, it's awesome. Oh, yeah, that's right. Relic has had an um, ear infection. Uh, started a survival game. It sucks not being able to fast travel. If I couldn't fast travel, it would it would be a lot like not being able to recover vehicles in, um, in SnowRunner. And I would just feel weird about it. Oh, I missed. Crap. Oh, we got her. Oh, and we got him. Oh, and there's somebody else right there. Oh, tagged him. So the great thing is... Oh, got her. <laughs> they just poke their head around the corner, and it's just like, arrow! Arrow! But, um, man, that... Yeah, survival in this, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm just gonna goof off for the time being. I'm gonna, I'm gonna goof off, I'm gonna have a good time, and... It's just going to be... It's going to be a blast. 
so... I enjoy the hell out of this game. I really legitimately enjoy the hell out of this game. And I picked it up... Um, I picked it up... Shortly after the Anniversary Edition came out. So, I've had the... I've had the Special Edition for a while now. And... The Special Edition gives you access to the Creator Club. But... Anniversary upgrade, you get so much more. And it is it is so good. Alright. Ooh, root beer. That was a good one. Alright. So let's search these fools. Black Friday sale, I believe. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Um yeah, there was, there were some great deals, um, and just, I kept buying game after game after game, and it was like, no, we're gonna, we're just gonna keep spending money on games. Your mirror came today? Nice! I'm gonna search this guy. Ooh, orcish arrows. We're gonna we're gonna take all the things that we can sell. Uh, antibiotics or some eardrops and deal with it until it goes away. Uh, the game is a blast. I hope the new Starfield. Yes. So I think here's the thing though. Um, you're an Xbox player, so you're pretty much all set. The thing about it is, I'm on the PlayStation Five. Uh, it's way too cold to put it on today. Yeah, you're probably gonna have to pull. Well, you may have to pull the door panel. I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't know if you've got just a little cover um, that pops off that allows you to kind of access the, uh, the, the the hardware that holds the mirror in place. All right. It's kind of creepy that there's tanning racks. Oh, your PC. So you're you're all set, all set. Um, ice wolf pelt, snow bear pelt. I'll take those. Somebody else did the hard work. We'll just take the stuff. Um, yeah, I'm actually considering picking up an Xbox because of the console exclusives, because of just all of the stuff that's coming to the Xbox and PC only, and it's not making its way to the PlayStation. Much like most of the new titles. Ooh, a Master Chest. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this in uh, 16 locks. Uh, both Alien Isol uh, bought both Alien Isolation the other. Uh, this will be the first game I'll be streaming with a camera. It will be fun to play a horror game like that. Awesome. Tractor Man, how's it going? Probably going to get the Pokemon game coming out Friday as a birthday present to me. That is a well-earned birthday present. Um, absolutely, dude. Absolutely. Oh. Oh, okay. Oops. So... Go just a little bit further up. William Sterling! What is up, dude? I hope you're well. I'm gonna try to... Oh. See? Exactly. See? Well, here's the thing. So... <laughs> I I make it intentionally difficult on myself because and I'll show you in just a second we have skills that allow us to make things oops wasn't is paying it just me that. or is it getting Jeez. saner and saner these days uh, Bean went on the floor so <laughs> Okay. We got it. Four lockpicks. Ruby, staff chairman. You want a PlayStation for reasons. I highly recommend the PlayStation. Really do. Okay. So. I will exit this room. Oh, that was cappuccino. There was a cappuccino in there, which 
while not too bad on its own, mixed in with other stuff isn't exactly the best. So, lock picking. All right, our lock picking skill, and these are all our our skills and our buffs, and this shows us just how. how <coughs> ooh, beans. Um, this shows us just how how high our skill is in various things. My sneak is at 77. And in sneak, we have five different levels of stealth. So currently we're at four out of five, which means we are 35% harder to sneak or to detect while sneaking. We have to level up to a stealth rating of 80 before we can buy the next point. But we've got things like backstab, sneak attacks with one-handed weapons, um, now do six times damage. We have that. Uh, deadly aim, sneak attacks with bows, now do three times damage. Our sneak is 77. We can see that right there. But it requires, like, 40. Silence, walking and running does not affect detection. Uh, are there two eyes in Khajiit? Yes, there are. So the Khajiit is all the way up on the on the top right corner up there. The Assassin's Blade is where it's at. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong because that allows you to do 15 times damage, but you have to sneak up on your target to do it. Uh, for some reason, I have decided that sneaking in heavy armor is the way to go. So, silent roll, sprinting while sneaking. So this is all stuff, <laughs> unless you poke one. <laughs> Oh, Relic, you're amazing. <laughs> so that's our that's our stealth tree right there. We've got light armor. We've got archery, one-handed. It's all stuff that augments damage, augments defenses. Um, speech allows for better prices on stuff. Um, all of our spells and things like that, which allow for different spells, different casting of types of spells. This is the one I wanted to show you. Lock picking. Novice locks. And if you notice, I've spent no points in lock picking whatsoever. Our lock picking skill is 77. This represents me just playing with locks to unlock stuff. Apprentice locks. Apprentice locks are much easier to pick. Adept locks are much easier to pick. Expert locks are much easier to pick. Master locks are much easier to pick. I can go all the way up to expert locks, like locksmith. Pick start, uh, pick start close to the lock opening position. Unbreakable. Lock picks never break. So that requires a skill of 100. But I don't put points in any of this stuff because I want it to be intentionally difficult. I want it to be able to give me a challenge. That's why I never put any points in lock picking, believe it or not. Um... That makes sense to me. I'm not sure it actually makes sense to anybody else but me, but that's okay. But there is also a wedge of goat cheese to which we will most assuredly take that with us. Um, I don't care if I have to drop a silver sword to take that. I am going to take that because it is cheese and it is our birthright to take all of the cheese. Iron and lure. Take that. An apple, silver amber necklace. Boots and clothes, we don't need that. I never put points in. Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, too, if you have enough lock picks, every time you break a lock pick, yeah, the only challenge is master, right? So that's the thing. Um, this game, Skyrim is unique to a lot of other roleplay style games because you don't start with a character class. You don't start with a bunch of points in any one thing. You start with a blank slate of a character and you level up in things that you use so if you're using heavy armor and a shield and a sword you're going to accrue points and skill ups in one-handed weapons you're going to accrue points in heavy armor and block if you continue to block with your shield um but if you use like lighter leather armors which are better for stealth if you like me right now walk around continuously in stealth and sneak up on people. Like, say, let's, let's try this. Let's attempt to sneak up on this guy right here. So, 
We're going to try to sneak up on him. Keyword try. Because we're wearing heavy armor. See, he... Time to ah! this game. Missed. Yeah, we, we totally missed. So, because even though, yes, our stealth is high... Haha! Even though our stealth is high, we still get found out because... Well, we're wearing heavy armor, and it makes a lot of noise as we're just crashing about. So we can get close to someone, but we can't get to a point that... Like, it's going to be, you know, easily walking up on someone, say, with leather armor. Um, you have various skills to, like, muffle the sound of armor. A lot of stuff that, that will actually help in aiding you be stealthy. Do I want to cast iron caught or perhaps a basket? Uh, no. Last Scarab of Akrash. So that increases our smithing to 45. Not a bad thing. Plentiful magic. And you know what? We'll take that salmon steak. Simply because it was there. Workbench. So we came in through there. Uh, let's see. Oh. All right. Nope. So this is an, an adept lock, so it's a little bit trickier than like a novice or an easy one. But, oop, wee bit more. And there we go. Ah, this must be their supply room. I vaguely recall playing Oblivion when it first came out on my brother's Xbox 360. I used stealth everywhere because I was scared of everything. Well, there's a lot of stuff in here that'll kill you. But I mean, it's video game death, so... All right. Uh, just coming back from running into town, had to pick up a delivery of parts for other equipment. Cool, you're doing maintenance, or what are you up to, Tractor Man? I'm gonna take everything that's not nailed down. Like this, uh, fine leather backpack. There's some nice clothes in there. Okay, but we're not gonna... Ooh, what's this? Uh, gold. Gold gem. Gold, gold, gold. Okay. Played an Argonian, the lizard people. Um, so we almost ended up playing an Argonian. There were, we were very close to choosing an Argonian because they were capable of breathing underwater. I've had such a hard time against mages in this game. I don't know why, but they always do. Um, it feels like with the anniversary up update, everything got more difficult. Everything starts doing more damage, and you take more damage. We have pumped so many points into uh, health and stamina. I haven't really gone the mage route at, at this particular go-around. We haven't even actually been to the mage's college just yet. So that's one of those things where it's like, yeah, we should probably eventually make our way over there, but we'll eventually make our way over there. Uh, also, I should probably quick save because that would make sense. Oh, hello, people. So where is the guy that we want to kill? Oh, he's behind there. Okay. Got to go eat dinner. Thanks for showing me around. Absolutely. If you have any more questions or any more questions in general, I am most assuredly going to answer them to the best of my ability and have fun while doing so. Because you know what? Questions are fun. Watch it there, brother. Watch it. Oh boy. Alright, so this guy... Uh, look at you go. Saving the game. I'm proud of you. I mean... Boom! Alright. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we should, uh, we should, uh, consider, uh, there's a destruction spell they added that's super broken. It only costs like 20 or something to cast after you get upgraded and does almost 200 damage. That's wild. Um, see you later to watch Farscape. Yeah, you guys have a watch party this evening, which is awesome. Uh, okay. Duskfang. And healing. That's right. Ow. 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 Oi. Oh, that was so close. So we just gotta kind of... There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, okay then. That was very close. That was incredibly close. Uh, restoration increased to 40. Perfect. All right, so this guy's got a Dwarven Shield. Elven War Axe of Invenerating does 50 points of... Ma oh, that's why he was draining my Magicka. Okay. Uh, Nordic Carved Boots. Nordic Carved Helmet. Nordic Carved Armor. Dwarven Shield. All right. Oh, no, we don't have Lydia. Oh, damn. Ah, uh, but we've got Scritch. Scritch can carry things. Farscape, is that like an outdoor cooking show? Um, potentially. Potentially. Um, it's, it's all Nabari all the time. William Sterling, how is everything going with you? What's happening? Let's give him... Dwarven Shield. And... Nordic Carved Armor, which weighs 37 pounds. Nordic Carved Helmet. Okay. And maybe... Can he carry anything else? No, he can't carry anything else. Good in some ways, horrific in others. Well, I hope the good outshines the bad. But I hear you. There we go. Okay. So there's this fellow. Mud crab chitin. So we've collected a lot of gold, actually. Oh, hello. That skeleton's empty. Iron boots, sword. Let's see. What else we got here? Cooked catfish. I mean, can't say no, I suppose. Your gold. Bastards. Somehow they managed to kill Uh, the he tractor and picker needed a new carburetor, some new husking fingers, new muffler, some new bearings, and we're going to replace all the chains on the picker, here. and I'm going, I'm going to fix to the power sure steering. The power steering is key, my friend. Any information to be gotten from the bodies. You and I have work to do. The silver hand will tremble at our sight. Okay. I've been hearing rumors of Silverhand activity. A group oh, of wow. them is holed up in Winterhold. Run fast, my friend. Okay, so now we've got a complete set of carved Nordic armor. Did this. Oh, that's Skior. Oh, we can actually take his wolf armor and his wolf boots. Hmm. So, the Skyforge Steel stuff is actually not bad. Um, I'm going to take all the wolf armor and boots and stuff. Uh, there is, yet again, another werewolf. Oh, and there's a chest. Okay, so technically what I should realistically do is drop some stuff. So that's got a value of 90. But this is a value of... So, the Silver Great Store weighs one pound less and will basically double our money. So we can get rid of that. Um, I 
yeah, we'll get rid of all that stuff. That's a bunch of skulls. Okay, what's in the chest? Minor blocking. Block 15% more damage with your shield. We'll take that. Madness ore. Whatever that does. And all kinds of different arrows. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right, now. Have you? I hope the hunting goes well, brother. We've got we need to do something. I don't know if we lose weight from converting pelts to. Oh no, it weighs more. Ooh. Okay. Items. Let's find some stuff to kind of drop. We're not dropping the cheese wheels. Ingredients, we can hang on to that stuff. We'll need that book. I mean, those weigh five pounds of, of, of pelt. Glass shield, I mean, maybe. But then again, that only weighs like six pounds. Uh, going to try something when I start twitching seriously. I've read an experience for myself with this Twitch account that my, the first few streams you do get evaluated. My content was expletive, so sent to the bottom. If my new channel has very good content, Twitch supposedly will list it in recommended. Interesting. Um, I had not heard that before, William Sterling. I am curious to see what happens, my friend. Okay, we're going to get rid of the ragged trousers because technically I guess we don't really need those. Uh, wolf armor, wolf boots, we're keeping that stuff. Potions, however, we should... Spear poison, drop that. Basically any poisons I really don't need. We are carrying way too many poisons. Paralysis poison, poison. Target is weaker against magic. Okay. All right, nope. We uh, we have freedom of movement restored once again. So let's see about... Iron helmet. Uh, what's in the knapsack? Oh, darn it. Couldn't have done that. Thirteen potions of cure disease. I really don't need that many. Alright. Do that. And then this way winds us back around to the beginning. Voila! Um. Alright, let's find our way out. And let's... Whoa! Oi! I don't know why this guy's attacking me. Oh, you're all done. Boom! Boom! There we go. Down you go. Done and done. Dwarven sword. Not gonna pick it up, because it's gonna make us uh, way overloaded. Also, we're back here for some reason. Um, let me get out. Oh, okay. Why do we have the, uh, it's going to attack music? Weird. He's purgedist. Wow. <laughs> um, nope, that's not the way we go. Alright, there's a way out of here somewhere. I just don't know where. So, I think I came through... Here? Maybe here. 
Oh, this is the way. Okay. No, we're good. Um, I've decided to launch with a truly demented character who yeets after eating beans and lighting a candle which causes a gaseous expulsion to explode rocketing him into the wild gray yonder. Um, it's gray yonder? Or what about, like, gravy yonder? Uh, I gotta hop off before stream. Have a good rest of yours. Thank you so much, Gray Body Live. I really appreciate it. Thank you for sticking around. And that is the sound of the Viking war horn. Also, there is somebody else up there. I don't know where. And perhaps they will show their face so that we may fill it with arrows. Potentially. And as long as this dude is around, we can't actually... Oh, there he is. All right. If you want to die on me, that's fine. The nice thing is, however, um, we have managed to get a lot of gold out of this. So I don't know. Uh, assassinate the Silverhand leader. So we've heard rumors of a Silverhand lieutenant camped at Fort Fellhammer. With him dead, their forces should weaken. Where is... Okay, so that's there. That is the Wayne and Stones. Okay. Oh, it's south of Dawnstar. Where are we now? Oh, we're over here. So you know what we're going to do? We are going to... casually make our way over to Hendraheim uh, through the use of fast travel because that is what we do because we are lazy like that. And then we'll go in Henderheim. We'll put some stuff on display. We will attempt to attempt to organize our inventory. All right. At least we can get rid of ore. Uh, we can get rid of leather miscellaneous stuff. Also, did we get rid of lockpicks in here? I really don't know. We had over 200 lockpicks. We have a lock. That does us no good. Uh, okay. Iron ore. Leather. Leather strips. More madness ore, which I have no idea what we're going to do with. Ruby. Pelts. Torture tools. We'll throw the torture tools in there. Lordis, what is up? How are you? What's shaking? What is good? Um, Only 11 lockpicks left. This is not good. In fact, this is very bad. So we're going to probably go back to... Also, where's our... Where's Lydia? I don't know where Lydia is. Here to watch McMittens. McMitties? I mean, that's a potential. Um, McMitten the Were Kitten. We have uh, somehow turned into a Were Kitty. All right. Ingredients. So we shall leave the ingredients. Human, human flesh is an ingredient. Okay. That's fine. Yes. Yes, we have become McMittens, the Wear Kittens. All right, apparel, amulet of Talos. We can't get rid of that. Um, oh, you know what? We forgot to put the uh, McMitties is my nickname for him. Okay, acceptable. We had a ring of lock picking. We didn't put it on because we're kind of an idiot. So there's that. That, get rid of that, get rid of that. Bond of matrimony. Store that in there. Wolf armor and wolf boots, which are actually kind of cool. I kind of like them. Um. Okay. Actually, let's go say hi. Yes, my love. What do you need? We have a cozy little prophet. All right, what do we got for profit? This is your Lay it on me. Love. 
A cozy little profit is 2,100 pieces of gold. Basically, we're Scrooge McDuckin' it over here in our money pit. Oh, All right. This and a bit of that. Let's see what we got for sale. I want to see if you have lockpicks. Please tell me you have lockpicks. <laughs> we don't have lockpicks. <laughs> um, Rudd. Okay. Actually, the nice thing is we can sell some stuff to her. It's actually really kind of cool. I don't know what, in fact, we are going to sell to her that we could potentially turn a profit. Um, Staff of Charming. Sell the dagger. Oh, those only bring us... That didn't bring us a lot at all. Skyforge, Steel Dagger, Steel Sword. Do that. Let's see if we can have anything else to disenchant, though. The Arcane Enchanta. Oh, okay. Elven War Axe of Enervating. There you go. Uh, Hide Shield of Minor Blocking. There we also go. So our enchanting has increased to 65, which that is huge. Um, that's actually really, really, really good. We could potentially make a ton of other stuff. But let's go dress up a mannequin instead. Say like... Um, so we get our orcish mannequin. Let's make our carved Nordic armor mannequin. Or Nordic carved armor. Uh, the boots. Where's the other stuff? Wait a minute, I thought I had more stuff here. You have it? Scritch, are you holding out on me? Helmet. Didn't we have gloves? We had gloves. I, I, you know, I have so much stuff, it's very hard to keep track. Uh, give that. That. And he's looking all sorts of fancy. And I don't know why he doesn't actually have carved Nordic gloves. Also, I apparently need to go re-find, uh, what's her name? And then we've got four more mannequins to actually outfit which actually all right so that's it's mostly blades armor but don't we have a blades helmet somewhere i think we do we'll go over to this guy and we will give him um wolf armor and wolf boots So we're down to 293 pounds worth of stuff. What do we have to sell? Grand Staff of Charming. Okay. Also, the attack music is continuously playing, which I don't understand. Um... Like, something is constantly coming after us. But, you know, stranger things have happened. Let's go to the Thieves' Guild. Let's see if they have lockpicks in stock. Because I don't want to go all over Skyrim in search of lockpicks. Because that would just be silly. It would be silly. Ridiculous, I would say. We're level 37 either. That's even strange. Hey, good to see you. All right. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, see, the, the, the fight music is still playing, and I don't understand why. Oh, you know, I wonder what would happen if I slept in a bed somewhere. What are you doing that for? My bad. Welcome to the my bad. I didn't family. mean to knock anything off Why the table for you. Why don't you take a look at some of my Yes, please. Uh, Nerds Retreat. Did your character develop anxiety, maybe? Danger everywhere. You know what? That's a very good question. That is a very, very good question. I don't have an answer to that. Um, I know that we have developed kleptomania. Um, and specifically kleptomania concerning cheese. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Ah, 30 lock picks. Let's buy all of them. Food. Hogfish. Uh, raw rabbit hide. It looks so gelatinous. It looks like really shiny. Uh, the amount, uh, cheese is literally life in Skyrim. The amount of enemies fought off whilst devouring wheel after wheel. Oh, we don't devour them. We hoard them. Midian! My friend, how are you doing? Jay Stu! How are you doing? How is everything? How are you holding up, my guy? Um, what's going on? We're gonna sell an apple. We are going to sell an apple to her. Simply because we have the ability to sell an apple. And I don't know, like... It's something, I guess. I want to say we're carrying fine leather backpack. All right, fine, we'll sell it. We're carrying stuff. We are carrying altogether way too much stuff. Uh, yeah, stop by for a quick bite. Then she'll be out of the city momentarily. Okay. All right, where are we going? We're going. Uh, we're going over. We're going over here. Because there's a person over here that we can buy more things from. Midian, how is everything? Uh, it's baby duty time for me, so I'll catch you later. It's been good chatting again. Enjoy the rest of your stream and night. Dillberger, guys, everybody. Dillberger um, is newborn, born on the 12th of this month. He is a new daddy to a little baby girl. And you know what? Throw Dillberger a follow. He was last seen playing Halo Infinite. Um, Halo Infinite, Warzone, stuff like that. Go check him out. And give a good dude a follow. Because, yeah. Absolutely. And enjoy. Enjoy your time. And have fun, man. For real. Oops. Fell down. I've got all sorts of weapons for the Chase Stu, what are you having? Take a look. <laughs> Miscellaneous. Uh still no lockpicks. Why don't you have lockpicks? But you've got 14 leather ingots. I mean I, I suppose we could buy all this stuff from you. Steel shin boots. It's all good, dude. Battle Axe of Dim I love the look of that classic Battle Axe. Steel Sword. Steel Arrows. Buy all of them. Just because. Oh, Orcish Arrows. We want those. Um, we're going to, at some point, level up our blacksmithing. But today is not that day. Uh, where are we going now? We are going to deposit the rest of our ill-gotten gains. And by ill-gotten gains, I mean our kleptomaniacal cheese. Had this game for ages and not dipped in deep enough. Midian, now is absolutely the time to play this game again. Because as of November 22nd, the Anniversary Upgrade Edition was released. What's it was released on the 10-year anniversary of the release of Skyrim originally. If you have the special edition, which means if you have the edition that came with Dawnguard, Hearthstone, or Hearthfire, Hearthstone's another thing, um, Hearthfire and um, Dragonborn, you will get access to an upgrade which costs you like all of like 12 or $15, something like that. And it's very good. 
There is so much additional content. New houses, new NPCs, new quests, new items, new character models, new stuff in general, new item models. Like, you have different kinds of um, gear that you can, in fact, craft. Like, uh, let's, let's go right over here. So say we wanted to make steel. You can make different steel gauntlets. You can make different um, steel Nordic gauntlets. You can make steel soldiers' boots and helmets and knight armor. Um, oh, we can make spell knight armor. Holy crap. Dude, we can make spell knight armor. I didn't actually... Oh, this is kind of neat. All right. Okay, that's the style of helmet we're actually wearing right now. So... There is so much additional stuff. We're currently wandering around with our pet skeever. We legitimately have a pet skeever who has, if you look, a tiny little collar and a tiny little backpack. I don't claim to take a look. No more lockpicks. Um Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. So, and me, we're the only people around. This is the reason why we don't consume our cheese. You're good, bored mostly. <laughs> well, man, if you got into Skyrim again, I don't think you would be bored at all. Because look at all this looted cheese that we have here. This is how we keep ourselves entertained. The Joker has nothing on my chaos and confusion, my friend. And um, then we can do things like this. And then it rains cheese. <laughs> cheese a palooza, indeed. <laughs> All right, and now uh, we can alleviate the weight of our cheese weary world. So we're down to 275 pounds. Um, I'm trying to think. We've got stuff that we're carrying. And I have no idea. So, this is my... <laughs> There's a term for it. So, originally... This house here is referred to as the Breeze Home. As exemplified by the caption here. But we like to call it the Breeze Home. B-R-I-E-S-H-O-M-E. -E. Bree Cheese Home. Or simply just the Cheese Home, one or the other. It's fine. Um, also... Where is... Lydia has to be around here somewhere. <laughs> you see what I did there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself. Oh, there's Lydia. What do you need, my thing? Follow me! Also... I've got your back. I am where did your gear go? Oh, no, she does have it. Okay, she does have it. Um, what do you have for gloves, Lydia? Dwarven shield, dwarven bow, carved armor, carved boots, ebony mace, backpack. Uh... Wait a minute, where'd it go? I didn't grab it, did I? Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Okay, she's all hooked up and ready to go. <laughs> Cheese Philia. <laughs> Alright, um, also, wait a minute. What else did you have? I am sworn to carry your burdens. That really passive-aggressive kind of 
A dwarven bow, a steel sword. No, okay. No, we're good. We're good. We're Lead good. On. Leading on. Whoosh. I love doing that. Love doing that. So we've got 275 pounds worth of weight, which means we have... Like 150, 160. Yeah, we've got about 160 that we've got to kind of play around with. All right. So now we are going to go to Fort Fellhammer to assassinate the leader of the Silver Hand. So let's start by going here, wherever here is. Um. All right. This will be good. Anything over here? I think there was... Oh, yeah. There was a lot of these guys. Frost, uh... Oh! Ice Wraith. So that's where they hide. Oh, Lydia, what are you doing? And the horse gets in the way. That's annoying. That is, that is. I just want to search the ice pot. That, that's, that's all I want to do. Holy moly. So, there's a dragon. Um, this pretty much puts a little bit of a damper into plans here. Which means... Now we have to dispatch a dragon. And it's not like I really want to do this. He came right for me. He came right for me. Ooh. Ooh, this dragon is not messing around. Alright, so let's uh, get some life. Let's go back to the ebony bow. Uh, Stor <laughs> that storm being sad fun time got ruined. Yeah, a little bit. Oof. Alright, so I, I guess the, the horse is apparently being useful by... Okay. I mean... Oh, wait a minute. If we look on the map, supposedly something blows. All right. You darn right it had. <laughs> oh, it does! Okay. Nope. So, you can almost kind of make it out on the map that it is glowing right there. Yeah, definitely right there. That's kind of that's kind of, actually kind of neat. Dragon bone, dragon scales. All right, we're good. We're good. All right, can we limbo under? Limbo, limbo, limbo. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> Scritch, stop showing off. We are limboing underneath. The dragon's tail. Okay, there we go. Look, we can limbo, limbo, limbo. Limbo, limbo, limbo. There we go. Yep, we're king of the limbo. That's right. We're bad. We're bad. We got this. Okay. Um, carrying on. Uh, perhaps not to be interrupted yet again by near duels and ruffians. We're going to make our way to this cave, or this castle, or this keep, or something over here. And we've got to see a silver-handed dude about the murder. Some tasty, tasty murder. 
I'll have a double McMurder burger with a side of fries. Uh, I think Hermes may still be the king of limbo. We're not going to go there. Nope. <laughs> uh, Dusk Glow Crevice. So it's not even a cave, it's a crevice. Uh, this is unique. I don't know what this is. What the hell is that? That's obviously a pelvis. Who keeps push? Why do you keep pushing me? Scritch keeps pushing me, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Kind of a little annoyed, mostly. But we have a, a uh, Mike the Man. Thank you very much for that follow. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you are doing fantastic this evening. Uh, Monday number two, or Tuesday, as it's usually known. We are currently going after the leader of the Silver Hand because he is trying to take out uh, the companions because, well, the companions are werewolves. So, who knew? Well, technically I knew, and I probably knew like 10 years ago when this game first came out. So, 10-year-old spoilers, I'm sorry. Also, the danger alert music is non-stop and seems to continue to play. <laughs> Norman. Mom! Screech keeps pushing me! How did this guy know that we were actually... Skyrim is an amazing game. Skyrim is one of the most fantastic. How can they see me? Yeah, Skyrim, unbelievably good game. And this game is a game that's been out for 10 years now. And it still holds up to this day. Um, it looks beautiful. It looks just so good. Oh. Here now. And we missed. And we missed. Alright. There we go. Now we're starting to hit stuff. You do have to play some more, Norman. Uh, you owe it to yourself to play some more. I mean, I know that you've got a, a fantastic gaming library that, um, you know, you ignore every now and again because you have so many other important things to, to, to get done. <laughs> uh, but nobody's holding it against you. Oh, Lydia, what the hell are you doing? And there's this dude. Ooh, gotcha. Are we going to kill you before Lydia actually gets to you? That is the real question. Okay, so that's one. And this is another. Okay, loading up. Uh, we'll listen while I'll play. Nice. Oh, we totally missed. See, you know what? Even if our, our bow and archery skill is really, really good, we're still garbage. I was told Lydia isn't the best. No. Lydia is not very good. Lydia is kind of... She's very passive-aggressive. When you sit there and you, you simply tell her, Hey, um, can you carry this thing? Because I'm a pack rat and I've overloaded my gear. She goes, I'm sworn to carry your burdens. Like she's doing me some kind of ridiculous favor. You, had, you Norman, you do have a bit on your plate. It is true. I, I, I won't, uh... Well, I mean, I'll still make goofy fun, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, hey, look, arrows. Um, I suppose I will take all the arrows that were fired in my direction. That is okay. Were they carrying... I mean, there's all kinds of dwarven arrows and... All right, so we can't take that. We can't take that. That's fine. Oh, they were using dwarven arrows. Okay. Dwarven swords. Gold, hawk feathers, orcish dagger. So you've got to learn to... I... 
yeah, Lydia is still our companion simply because remember the time I accidentally killed her and had to figure out how to get her back? Yes. That was some weird stuff you had glitched out in your game because basically she's not able to be killed. There is only one way to kill most NPCs and companions and that is through a special magical item. But... All right, open Fort Belhama Garrison. And I wonder if this is bubblegum. Let's find out. Oh, a mace. Masons. What was that? Hello. Don't even tell me it's going to be this easy. Ow. Oh. He fell like a ton of bricks. Fellhammer mine key. Okay. Orcish battle axe. We'll take that. <laughs> um, I feel like Skyrim was inspired by dungeons. So here's the thing, though. With Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh, what's this? Torchbug Forex. I will take that. Dungeons and Dragons laid the groundwork for so many different fantasy games. And you really can't have a lot of games without some of the some of the influence of Dungeons and Dragons or the characters, the creatures, the monsters, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we were just fighting something, and she died right before I killed that thing. Ebony Bow. You know what I do have to do? I have to enchant a bow with, um... How was it? Soul stealing. I gotta do, I gotta do a soul stealing bow is what I gotta do. Was this it? Is there nothing else here? Kind of unusual. Everything is inspired by D&D. &D. Everything is inspired by Tolkien. I want to uh, want to get the Uber horse. Um, you want the e um, Scarlet uh, Scarlet Brotherhood. The um, I have a mod that let me side with the Silver Hand. Join fa no kidding. I can't even imagine how that would go. Other strips. We'll take those. Is this... This was it. There's, like, nothing else inside here. This is really bizarre. Can we sleep in this bed? Alright, so even sleeping, the beast blood keeps you from restful sleep. Gotcha. Uh, it's apparently it's super hard to kill and always reses elsewhere. Hmm, interesting. All right. So that didn't actually get rid of the weird uh, panic music. That's unfortunate. Oh, what's this? This is Fort Fellhammer Mines. So that's what he had the key for. So I have no idea what's down here. Let's find out what's down here. Shovel. Grab some rabbit. There's a there's a knife there that we can't take, unfortunately. Um Alright. So there's apparently gonna be people that we can kill. No, come back! That's unfortunate. Silver Silver hands down there, yep. Um what is down here? Ooh! Oh hey, look at this. Watch this. Watch me now. <laughs> My bad. Oops. Uh oh. Wait. I think. Nope. Uh oh. We might be. No. Oh. 
I, I hope I'm not as good as dead. I'm still very much alive, thank you. Yes, this is actually the very best I can do. I can't do any better than this because you're actually right in my face right there. Okay, that was um, completely inadvertent. I did not mean Shadow Mirror. That was Shadow Mirror is part of the uh, Dark Dark Brotherhood. Dark Brotherhood quest line. Your important quest lines are the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood. Every oh, excuse me. Everything else is inconsequential. Everything else. Like, everything, everything else. Five orcish arrows. That's okay. Uh, who else is down here? Hello? Good day to you. Oh, I swear to God, if Lydia is up top fighting everybody without me, I'm gonna be... Did this guy get crushed by boulders? Apparently so. Okay, that's that's something. Um, this person was the one that we kind of <laughs> rained down hell upon. I uh, can't use this well in combat, but do you need to do other things to um it? So if you do the Dark Brotherhood quest chain, you will gain access to Shadow Mirror. Uh, heavy armor. Perfect. And that is a chicken's egg. Oh, come on, Lydia. Lycanthropic Legends of Skyrim. Okay, we'll, we'll take that book. Pick silver. Orcish arrows. Orcish... We're already... Oh, you know why we're already carrying too much? Um, because of the... stuff. Uh, 25. Get rid of that. Okay, much better. Alright, let's... Let's try this again. Let's try this again. We've got stuff to do. Mines to mine. Ore to ore. We can do that. All right, so. But Shadowmere, the horse, it's a, um, it winds up being a, a spell that you can get to, I believe, summon the horse. Also, with the anniversary upgrade, you gain like the skeever that's actually following us around. Um, that is one of five pets you can actually have, and they all have different, like, perks and buffs and stuff like that. So our skeever right here, along with carrying stuff, can actually find and forage for food, believe it or not. Um, oh, you know what I did? I picked up a shovel that I didn't want to have. Delaneous. Let's get rid of a shovel. Laughs a garden. Dig it. <laughs> the name's Joe El Dierte. Your name's Dirt. Don't church it up for me, boy. All right. Nothing over here. I still like that movie. That's still a good movie. Kid Rock's in it. He gets his comeuppance. Which, I mean, if anybody needs to give Kid Rock his comeuppance... Oh, Iron Horn. Uh, it would, it would need to be David Spade, of all people. So... Mining! Let's see. 
more ore. So, at some point in time, we should actually make use of all of this ore and actually level up our blacksmithing skill so we can make some really cool stuff. But we also need to level it in conjunction with our enchanting skill so we can enchant really cool stuff. But the best thing is when you hit 100 enchanting, you actually gain the ability to dual enchant an item, which is huge. And actually, the Spell Knight stuff that we have right now, which we picked up as part of a, um, a quest chain, that stuff has a whole bunch of... There's not much that actually has, like, dual enchantments on it right from the get-go. But... Show you. What are we actually using? So we're using a Ring of Stamina. Wait, that's only 20 stamina. We have a ring of major stamina. That's 40. Anything else? No, I don't understand why we were using that other... Eh, it doesn't matter. Uh, so that guy got crushed by that. Who else is down here? Got that. And... Okay get more ore. So I think this winds up being it in this part of the tunnel structure here. Alright. Oh, is that a Garnet? That is Garnet right there. Right. Kind of right by this dagger here. I am already carrying too much weight, which means we will make use of our wonderful compatriots and we will overload them with weight from like dragon bones, dragon scales, gear, weapons, equipment, anything and everything. This is McMitten's wondrous emporium of goods. We steal it all so you don't have to. Is that everything? Do we have anything more that we can, uh, aside from the Garnet? There we go. I think this is, this is it. Like, there's nothing else, there's nothing else in here. All right. Um, oh, why do you still have a Gordon Shield? So let's get rid of Dragon Bone, Dragon Scale, Peril. So you can't carry any of that stuff. Weapons. Can't carry any more of that stuff. Okay. No, that's fine, though. That's fine. We have everything that we need. We have murdered our way through this uh, mining establishment. Hey, that's a hammer. We'll take that. You know what? I'm going to take that chicken egg, too, just because. I'm going to take that chicken egg out of pure spite. My chicken egg now. All right, nothing there. Uh, I think if I ever re-download this, I'm going to make an evil mage. You know, I always like the idea of being a mage until I actually get into being a mage. And then it's like, oh, I forget... Or I forgot why I never followed through with this. Simply because it just, it took so long to get good gear. Because a mage is very gear dependent. And you have to, you have to learn all of the spells. And yeah, at the beginning it definitely does. Uh, just look at create. Yes, yes. So the up, um... So the anniversary upgrade, you get everything from... That's all the stuff that they add into the game. You get all of it. You get every single piece of thing that is in the Creation Club when you get the anniversary upgrade. And it's so worth it. Where do we have to go now? Um... 
Oh, back to White Run. Okay. But don't we have an enchanting table? Let's go check the enchanting table. Yeah, the Creation Club stuff is amazing. It really, truly is amazing. Okay. The Tundra Homestead. Thank you very much. So, why don't we take the ebony bow that we have? Oops. Totally missed the room. That was not good. Um... chest. Oh, this is where we have a whole bunch of dragon bones and stuff like that. So there, that's there. Let's use the arcane enchanter. Do we have anything else to disenchant? No. So let's use an ebony bow. We'll enchant it with um, soul trap. So we're going to need soul trap. If the target dies within seven seconds, fills a soul gem. Okay. And why don't we use... Grand Soul Gem. See, that doesn't apparently matter at all in terms of... Okay. And actually, you know what? We can rename it right now. The Ebony Bow of... Uh, who steals souls? The Dead Eight steal souls. That's why you soul. That's why you soul. Ebony Bow of... I mean, we could just be... As basic as basic will get of soul stealing. Shang Sun. Shang Sun steals. Okay. Okay. All right. We're going to do that. Uh, uh, relic that is genius. So, R3. Do this little symbol there. That is a genius, genius idea. The ebony bow of Shang Tsung. So now, uh, craft. Boom. Ebony bow of Shang Tsung added. So this is our soul stealing bow. And that's a rather genius idea. Hey, we're going to take some of that nightshade. See, that has never grown back, which kind of perturbs me just a little bit. Okay. You waiting by the door right there. Anything else in the strong box? No. What's in the cupboard? What's in the box? Apparently, I left some food in here. Why did I leave some food in here? I do not know. Your soul is mine. You know what? I love that movie. I love the the first, the very first, the 90s Mortal Kombat movie. That was good. Hooked Brook Bass. That's a regular Brook Bass. Blackbriar Mead from the meadery. Okay, that's fine. Entirely acceptable. Um, we've got a lot of stuff. Alright, so also, we should, in fact... Alright, so we are using the ebony bow of Shang Tsung. And probably before we go back to the companions, we should go dump our bags of stuff because we've collected so much crap. So we have like 18 dragon bones that are just chilling. He did. Um, the, the fact that the dude, you know, he really owned it. Like he owned that role. He made that role his, and it was like, no, that is 
even though it may not be the Shang Sun of the video game, um, that was definitely Shang. Like you, you felt the power and authority of Shang Sun. Which was cool. Um, I think the dude who played Johnny Cage was great. Um, Scorpion and Sub-Zero were fantastic. Although I have issues with the casting of Raiden, simply because they totally whitewashed the crap out of it. But... It's, it's kind of unfortunate. It is kind of unfortunate. Let's see... We have a hammer. We cannot wield that hammer. But we do have that. We've got stuff to get rid of. Sapphire, a spoon. We will keep the spoon. Get rid of the garnets. Okay. Actually, what do we have for food? Do we have... Okay, we haven't picked up any more cheese, so that's kind of fine right there. Um, do you have anything that I need to take from you? Sworn to carry your burden. No. Lead on. And Scritch. You got it. Oh, 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 you're the one with the stuff. Dwarven Shield. Okay. Now let's put this stuff in here. We've got a Dwarven Shield to sell. I kind of hope we can get a, um... It, it is the Shang Tsung? I, you know, I kind of... I, I thought he felt a little bit different, like, thematically. But if that was the... If that was the Shang Tsung from... Oh, but, but you know what? Hold on. Mortal Kombat 11 came out way after the movie, though. Okay. So... Oh, you know what? Let's see what we can sell to her. Can we sell some stuff to her? Yes, Hello. Lord. We have a cozy little profit. Here. Another 200 this is gold. Your share, Rob. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All right. Do you have lock picks? You have 12 more lock picks. I will take every single one of those. Books. Bound sword. Clairvoyance, Lesser Ward, and Oak Flesh. Do we have any of that stuff? Let's see if we have any of that stuff. So, one is Conjuration. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11 is the most recent release, but I live uh, believe that they use carry for voice and... Oh, okay, okay. We do have Bound Sword. Bound? Yes. All right. Let's just sell some stuff. I don't know. Perk, what is happening? How are you doing this evening? What's going on? All right. Um, apparel. Sell that. Let's make sure we don't have anything else to... Oh. See... Let's... Yeah. We can sell that. We could, in fact, sell that. Nordic Carved Helmet is 59... The Ebony Spell Knight Helmet, so increased magic resistance by 22. Uh, restoration spells cost 25% less to cast. That is key right there. Increased stamina by 70 points, and then Ebony Spell Knight Armor, increased heavy armor skill by 25. Not the much this week is going on, except for in school. I got in trouble yesterday for talking because everyone was over at my seat. That is unfortunate. Um, that is kind of kind of a downer. Sell that. And the boots are 94. Okay. We don't... So she doesn't have any more money. We're at 327 carry weight. So let's go... Oh, no. We need to... We have to hang on to one of the ebony bows because I actually want to keep one of those just in case that's like our pinnacle of, of bows. 
when it comes to a little bit later on in game because we do want to be able to upgrade certain things. Ebony bow. So we'll go down here. We'll put an ebony bow here. We can't activate something directly next to it. Okay. Why did that do that? And why can't we now get that? Um, what kills Mortal Kombat for me lately is the novelty characters. I don't care about using Hobo Cop, Rambo, Spawn, Leatherface, or any of the other clowns. Yeah. Uh, did I just make it so I can't get my bow back? Uh-oh. Uh... Hello? Uh, but, yeah, well... I don't know about that, though. Okay, it occurs to me something is wrong here. And I can't obtain the weapons back up. So let's go. Let's leave. Let's come back. I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> I really hope not. <laughs> um, imagine apple pie without apple. I mean, there would still be apple pie. All right, let's try this again. Uh-oh. Uh... So the only thing... Oh, boy. So we can take all this stuff. Uh, okay, looks like we're reloading the game. Yeah, this, uh, this stuff does not want to come off the rack. Oh, I know, right? Load. McMittens. All right, so... That is our most recent. So we want... We want this one. Hopefully this is the one. Except that Mortal Kombat's apple pie existed before. They could give new people that aren't lazy. Yeah, see, that's the thing, I feel, is that Mortal Kombat has so much room to create so many different characters and stuff but they rely on like once upon a time it wasn't bad once upon a time you had link or darth vader or something like that and those characters were very few and far between and they were platform specific and it was only one character Let's get... Why is that... Alright, so that works here. Alright, so then we'll take... We'll take the bow of Shang Tsung. And we'll equip it. Okay. Um, Rich, did I take everything from you? Because they're not from the same movie or year. Eh... All right, so we got all the stuff from him. We wanted to sell her a couple of things just to be able to get Hello, rid of them. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Also, no lockpicks. Gotcha. Oh, and we already sold the stuff. Okay, that is curious. All right. Let's head on out. Let's head back to White Run. White Run, we go. Then we'll hit the blacksmith. We'll unload stuff there. That'll be good.
All right, where did they go? Are they still working? Hello, knock knock. Oh, hello, good sir. Welcome to Both war both war bow. The finest weapons. Ever. Uh, worried flame wars could erupt because of the character hate. All right. Uh, one lockpick. The dude had one lockpick. Sell that dagger. Ooh, our speech increased. Fantastic. Uh, orcish bow, orcish dagger. Carved boots, carved helmet, and what do we get for boots? The boots add 70 stamina. These add 30 stamina. We can sell these. Why would I be hanging on to those if it's actually less? Hide bracers of minor lock picking. So we can actually uh Lucifer B Morningstar! Hello! How is everything? I hope you are fantastic. What's going on? Alright, we've got 56 lockpicks again. Which isn't bad. Good Sad good. news, my snow runner will no longer run. I've tried everything, so I had to completely uninstall it from my Steam. Um There should be a save game file that backs everything up for you. So you, you should still be able to retain all of your save info. So when you click run, there's nothing. Waits a few seconds and then stops again. Yeah, I've got it on PlayStation, and I've had no issues. It won't even load. I've done everything possible. So, I mean, if you uninstall it and reinstall it, you should be okay, I'd imagine. I'm right behind you. All right. Open to pipe run. Uh, run as an administrator and reinstall it several times and still nothing. That's really unusual. That is very unusual. Um, I don't think I've heard, uh, said to hell with it and permanently removed it from my, oh, bummer, dude. Holler, have any questions? Everything. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Let's see if he's got any more lockpicks. No, he does not have any more lockpicks. Um, perhaps there's anything else that we can sell here, dude. Errol. Okay, we're good. And what is our carry? So our carry weight's 279. Um, man, uh, I'm, that's unfortunate. I'm really sorry to hear that. <laughs> Do you have Skyrim? All right. Okay, so you know what is getting really kind of annoying is... Um, let's... Where is it? I'm going to quit out real quick. Because I'm going to try to reset this so that the music kind of chills out a little bit. Because we've got, like, that panicky music that keeps on playing again and again and again. And it didn't. All right. Hold on. So... We're going to... I'm going to do a thing here. How about we restart? So we will restart the console and possibly this will take care of the issue at hand. 
I think I just dropped a jelly bean on the ground. Don't mind me. <laughs> I've got so many jelly beans all over the place. This is how we get ants, Barry. Margarita. I don't know. You know, I really don't know what would cause that. Because you uninstalled it, you reinstalled it, everything should be technically working okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think that was Margarita. Are we not restarting, or what are we doing here, buddy? We may have some technical issues. Um, and that would mean I have to get up and hit a button on the face of the damn thing. So I'm going to do that. Hold on just a second. It's right over there. Uh, why do you have to restart? So I wanted to restart the game, and realistically, I should have simply just closed the game down and restarted it, but I didn't. I just decided to restart the PlayStation instead. Nope, that's not doing anything. Okay. Uh, I think we're restarting. Mopar fan, how have you been? What's going on? What's new? Okay, it's finally restarting over here. So once this kicks up and running, we'll get back into Skyrim. Um, how's everything been going, man? What's new? Oh, it's repairing. Something happened. Uh, problem occurred in the system software the last time your PlayStation 5 was used. Uh, accept and report. Error submitted. Thank you for your cooperation. Been busy working with new job. Nice! How is the new job going? What are you up to? All right, so... Skyrim. Uh, we're trying to restart the console. It's having a little bit of an issue. I certainly hope that there's nothing wrong. But we'll see what happens. Press any button. To continue, continue from your last saved game. Yes, please. All right. So we're back here. The music is back to normal. Okay. Deliver those tasty donuts everybody loves. Nice. All right, so we good? Wait a minute. We are in fact not good because we have to restart the capture card. Okay. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking There we go. High. Okay. We're up and running again, guys. Um, I am sorry for that. <sighs> okay. Um, I love donuts. What is what is your favorite donut? And I know people who are around donuts like to say, I don't like donuts anymore. But there's always one kind of donut that you're definitely into. 
I like strawberry frosted donuts with the sprinkles on top, but that's just me. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? What's going on? 279 carry weight. Um, we have to... Sprinkles are for winners. <laughs> Chocolate cake donut? Dude. So basically like a chocolate cake with just a hole cut out the center. I am totally on board with that. Uh, favorite that. There we go. Okay. No, I can't spare a coin for an indigent like you, child. Okay. I need a place. I have too much stuff. How do you get a place? Okay. So, um... See, to get the Breeze home, which is the first house that you would find in Whiterun, that is a quest line and 5,000 gold. But here's a secret. If you can manage to put together... Oh, no. You know what? Hold on. So this one right here, the Tundra Homestead is 7,500. But if you want a free home... Check this out. So here is Rorikstead. It is directly to the west of Whiterun. And I only tell you this because you have played this before, so you're familiar with the topography of Skyrim. Um, so to the southeast is Golden Hills Plantation. And there is a quest chain, small one, it's local to that, it is associated with that area. That will get you a free farm. And it'll make you money. So you can get off to a really good start, and it's kind of cool. And yes, you Have will you accumulate the all of the stuff. Hand, oh, hello. I hope the hunting goes well, Take brother. care of that group We've of the Silver them. Hand. Excellent. Looks like you've really driven them into hiding. Keep this up. We'll wipe them out yet. Okay. All right. Good what's next? So eager. I've caught wind that one of the brighter silver hand has been sniffing around. How do you get a steward if for the farm? I've got a bunch camp, of drunken farm hands, but no plans. steward. We'll have the advantage. Okay. So, um, Come to me with questions. what I, I ended up doing as well as by now. was I'm going to take that right off your plate. Oh, so we're friendly with the companions now. I so I can take the, the cheese. I can take whatever I want right off your table. I am the cheese thief who stalks in the night. You cannot stop me. Um. Oh, uh, but this is apparently still stealing over here. So, if you... Certain companions you can actually have to work the farm as a steward. Um, if you remember the archer from the very beginning, say from Riverwood, you know how there was the two guys, one was the bard, one was the archer, and they were all pining over the attentions of one woman? Have a good rest of your stream. Got to go get ready for mod duties. Talk soon. Monkey bum. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out. I really appreciate you. You're awesome. And you rock. So yeah, if you go to Riverwood and it's the it's the elf who teaches you archery. And he's a very easy companion to get. And he's one of the ones that you can actually use to level up your archery. And then you can trade gear and stuff with him and take all of your money back. And then level up archery, and then take all of your money back. So it's a little, it's a little uh, positive feedback loop that you can do right there. All right. Oops. Oh, I'm knocking stuff all over the place. Don't mind me. You're still sleeping over there. That's fine. Um. Okay. What brings you to me? Find some where, strange creature. Where are we going? Um, we've heard rumors of a Silverhand Lieutenant camped at Broken Helm Hollow. If I can steal their plans, we could track down their chief hideout. Well, let's go do that. 
let us go and do a hey, thing bear. like that. Also, there we go. I have not gotten Xbox yet. Super Goat, we are definitely in the works for con seriously considering an Xbox. Um, honestly, it's a thing that is in the plans. And it just depends on finances, I guess. Ultimately, I would like to get a Series X. I know that it is difficult to obtain, but we'll see where it goes. See where it goes. Oh, Broken Helm Hollow is all the way over there. Blackbriar Lodge is right there. So why don't we kind of fast travel to Blackbriar Lodge? And then we'll go south to the other place. What the hell are... Th They're chickens. Why is that guy chasing the... What is he? Doing? Oh, 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 okay. That was unusual. Why is the horse getting into it? Ooh, that was a good shot. Uh, the new Rainbow Six Extraction is fun. So glad it's on Game Pass. Yeah, um, Relic was just talking about that, actually. Where the heck did... Oh, there she is. Okay. I lucked out getting my Series S through Microsoft. I would love to get a PC, but I'll have to wait. So the Series S is actually apparently fairly readily available. Uh, my local Best Buy had multiple Series S consoles. Okay, this is a Khajiit. He's running at me. And he looks like he has ill intent upon his brow. I do not know why. He's got a big axe, too. That is a glass axe. And I don't know how... Alright. Glass battle axe. That's fine. And who's this dude? Oh. There's a bunch of wolves. Hello. I am waiting for a good death. Oh, you are, are you? Um I got X through all access. Easiest way to get one. Minimum monthly payment is 36 bucks. Comes with two years of online and game pass ultimate. Um Yes. Were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malika. Wow, there's all kinds of dead stuff around here. Perhaps. Are you sure about this? I mean, we could throw down, buddy. Hmm. We shall see. All right, Mr. Old Orc. You're mine. You want a good death? I will give you a good death. Sent you off to the Never Neverland. But, like, there's all these wolves over here. There's just, there's everything everywhere. This is kind of bizarre. Um, my brother actually lucked out and got the Series X and a PlayStation 5, both through Walmart, of all places. No. Canis root? Harvest the canis root. Okay. And yeah, he managed to pull it off, and it was like, holy crap. All right, so you know what? Um, I forgot to sneak up on these guys. So let's go full on. And we're good to go. Good to go. 
Although one of our items needs to have a little bit of a recharge. Perfect. Actually, wait a minute. So that is only 46 points of damage. That is 46 points of damage. After killing 12 creatures, absorbs 5 points of health. Eh, whatever. Alright, so that's Broken Helm Hollow right there. That's where we have to go to. Alright. Let's sneak our way on in. As much as we can clomp around in very heavy armor. So he's over there. That's where we're going to want to go. I've got a bad feeling about Oh, you've got a bad feeling about this, Lydia? That's fine. So he's up there. So we're going to want to go around. Ish. Alright, equip the bow. Oh, crud. How did they find me already? And how did we miss... Hitting the broad side of a barn. It is a Kishit. Oh, and that's a level up. But yeah, ideally I would get a Series X, but that would also depend on like... Let's give ourselves some more stamina. And we'll, we'll save some perks this time around. Um, but yeah, it, it just, it depends on stream stuff, you know? Um... It would be nice to be able to divert the funds towards something like that. But with work being the way that work is and... Oh. That was interesting. But yeah, um, with work being the way that work is... I need to be fairly careful about, you know, funds and stuff. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, that was all sneak attack damage. Okay. Alright, so that gives us nothing. Oops. Uh, Silverhand Stratagen. We'll throw the warrior. Amulet of Akatosh and Ebony War Axe. Gold. Okay, this guy's got some stuff. Steel Greatsword of Frost. We'll take that. Hell yeah, we'll take that. A bucket of skulls. I mean, ultimately, we would like to take something like that, but... Um, all right, where is the... Night Captain's Orders? Is there a limit on what skills you can learn? Can I screw up my... You can't screw up your character. You basically, if you... You level up with simply playing the way you want to play. All right, so we didn't need that. Where did this thing go? Yeah, basically... So if you use bows, your bows are going to level up. If you use heavy armor, your heavy armor is going to level up. And it all depends on your play style. Well, I guess I don't know where whatever it is went. That's fine. So if you use one-handed weapons, your one-handed weapons will level up. If you use two-handed weapons, that will level up. You're, you're good. You are totally good. Uh, this guy is a Nord. 
Report Leafnar's death to his family. Ooh. I'm not taking that iron arrow. Spell tomb flame. Book. Spell tome flame. Which I already have. I guess I can sell that. Poison. We'll take some poison. Why don't we take some poison? Not like literally take some poison. We're not going to actually ingest it or anything like that. Uh, hunting bow, steel sword, air, iron arrows. This is kind of gruesome and bloody. Poor Nord. Poor Nord. Skyrim wasn't for him after all, apparently. Um, exit. Oh, that was weird looking. Uh, it looked like some giant insect. Okay. So, escaping to the outside world once again. Um, what do we have to do? Return to Ayla. But then also, wasn't there somebody we had to inform of somebody's death? Uh, Leafnar's death to his family. Where? I have no idea. Okay. Dragon's Reach. Over to here. Okay. Um. All right. There's so much we have left to do. There's so much. We have like pages and pages and pages of stuff in our quest log and our miscellaneous quest log to actually be even considered close to clearing everything out. Oh. I've been Ayla. running interference for you around here. I don't think anyone's caught on to our little campaign yet. Okay. That that's fine. Perfect. I've got Hope the plans. Will let us know more about their movement. I think we've got them on the run. All right. Uh Silverhand stratagem that gave us and there is 300 gold. To be done. But I like I to make them all active and just run through them. Yeah. Efforts. He's asked to see you. My advice, always be honest with the old man, but don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. All right, started Blood's Honor. So, speak to Kodlak. So this should actually be interesting because Kodlak is actually the head of the Companions. So, why don't we, why don't we sit in this chair right here? Take a take a nice nice seat in this chair. Kinda kinda chillin'. Kinda. Yeah, that doesn't work so well. Alright. Um we are getting on to about the three hour mark right now. And ooh, that's Wuthrad. We need to reassemble the pieces of Wuthrad. Oh, that's a big hammer right there. And that's a sword right there. We could steal that stuff and sell that stuff. We're probably going to do that because we are shady. Um, so yeah, we've been at this for about three hours. It is probably time that we consider raiding on out. Uh, because that is the thing that we do. God, I love these beans. So we will continue the companion's quest line. Um... I have been actually starting to be proactive about leaving the schedule for the stream on the about page that is like below us under here with all the little tabs and stuff like that. So chances are we're probably not going to stream tomorrow. So tomorrow, because there's just been a lot of stuff going on lately and I've needed some time after work to be able to do some of this stuff. So, most likely for the foreseeable future, Wednesdays are going to be kind of a gray area until things kind of settle down. Um, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And I will I will make the schedule, and I'll try to actually list out the schedule 
for the you know foreseeable future and stuff like that. Because like start times tend to vary between like five and six, um, depending on when I get out of work and what time I get out of work. So there's that too. Because that whole work thing gets in the way of doing all of this and having fun doing all of this. So why don't why don't we go and do a thing? Uh, because Gigi Edgley has gone live. And she is going to be, let's see, I think she's doing a watch party tonight. And Monkey Bum was just here as well. So why don't we go on over, raid on in uh, before the watch party starts. Let's go say hi, because she's awesome. And, you know, she did raid us last night. So let's bounce on over. How's that sound? And I know you like that idea, Midian. Uh, Midian, thank you so much for stopping by. It is so good to see you here, and I hope you have a fantastic time playing the anniversary update version of this. Nika Fernandez, thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming around and hanging out. You are always, always great to see here. You are fantastic. Norman, Super Goat, Mopar fan. Monkey Bum, who is over on, you know, Gigi's channel. Nerds Retreat. Uh, who else am I missing? There's plenty of other people in here who have... Lucifer B. Morningstar. I am so sorry about SnowRunner, man. I really am, and that that does bum me out. Ogremar, Relic, who can forget you? You are such a delightful human being. Perk. Uh, who else are we missing? Megal. Mike the Man. All you guys. Thank you for popping on in and, and hanging out for tonight and... Watching some goofy little bits of uh, all of this stuff. And Mountain Lion! There is Mountain Lion! You are a wonderful person, and I greatly appreciate everything that you contribute to whatever it is we're doing, whenever it is we're doing it. So we're going to go right on over to Gigi Edgley. Uh, she's going to start her watch party pretty soon, and they are watching an episode of uh, Farscape. So that's going to be on, they're probably going to use like Amazon or something like that. So guys, have a fantastic night tonight. Probably won't see you tomorrow. If anything changes in the short term, I'll let you know. We post it on the Discord. I'll change the schedule listed down below. But until then, we'll see you on Thursday. And chances are it'll probably be another SnowRunner night. Uh, I'm sending you something on Discord. Awesome, Super Goat. Thank you very much, man. I will definitely look at that. Um, everybody have a fantastic evening and we'll catch you later.